Today I'm going to show you how to uh, machine this uh, OXC slot, this part here. And we're going to machine with uh, uh, ML5, this cutter. Okay, so we're going to use this cutter to machine. So I've created it. Uh, to to prop and let's create a procedure and the procedure that I'm going to use will be the 5x productions yeah and I just say uh, make sure you select the the MU5 cutter this cutter and go to here to click on the access Okay, so which one should I choose? Uh, for this, we'll use a uh, project curve options, right? And the drive surface, the drive surface will be this surface here. This will be the drive. And we need to machine uh, left, I think. We'll choose left first. And click projections to select the, the reference curve. The reference curve uh, will be um, this one, looks like this. Uh, sometimes you might have this problem because um, this surface might have some problems. So in that case, let's uh, let's uh, unselect and we we'll use the one by one. So let's choose one here and to here. And here and here and here and let's close the close the loop. Yeah. Right. This is will be my contour. Right. So next, I'll go and. Um, set my two axis control so in this case i'm going to use a, a four axis and the low three axis will be uh, parallel to the z axis okay parallel to a z axis uh, And then, yeah, maximum step angle you can reduce if you if you need. You know? uh, most of time, most of the time, three degrees okay. You can re reduce it if you need it. And let's click OK and see the two part. Right, so. Yeah, we have a two path. Let's change the color. A, this, I think, is good. And change the thickness so that we can see it more clearly. Right. So we go for navigations. You can see now the cutter is cutting normal to the surface and uh, touching this this contour that we select as a reference okay right it's a four axis
right and of course we next next step is to move the the two path down right so the thickness of this um let's check what's the thickness is 2.8 so we move down 3 mm or 3.5 it should be okay right so then you can go to uh, the utility go to the utility and here this minus 3.5 this parameter here will move the whole two path down along the two axis, two point uh, three point five. This is what I mean. Okay. So next. Next step one then I need to do is to uh, because I cannot directly cut this lot like that. It may break the cutter. So we need to do some down step, right? We need to copy the path. So let's um, stop. Uh, let's ignore this. It's not important now. No. Yeah. Let's click assess. And I'm going to apply a depth of cut here. Yeah. And to apply the depth of cut, you can add in finish pass if you want. Um, for my side, I'll put zero. No. Uh, spacing is uh, 0.5. So my thickness is 3.5. So I think seven passes is enough. Seven pass, and then uh, then you can just click. Uh, make sure you click the ramp. Yeah. Use ramp. All right. Then okay. Then calculate. And you have a uh, Felix two part. For the entry, maybe now I want to fix the entry. I don't like the entry. And let's fix the entry now. Okay, let's fix the entry. So, uh, I don't like this connections too long. So, let's go assess and uh, go to the link. First, I'm going to change the plane to automatic and wrap it. Okay, the feet, I don't think we need so big value here. So I can put three, it's okay, three. And that's the retract. And also, uh, for the entry, no, I don't want to use the in. For the exit, yes, I want to use uh, lead out and control lead out here. So I'm going to use the tangent arc. And why do I need a flip? Let's cancel the flip and 30 and OK. Let's calculate and see.
right let's look at the entry here you can see here right the arc is actually opposite this so we need to go back in uh, go to the link link and modify this and click flip we click flip this is the result and you will go up from here I can see this uh, this uh, the two part is a bit uh, you know checked here this is due to the surface normal uh, yes uh, uh, two axes are following the surface normal due to some plus minus you have this problem uh, to improve this we can always um, change the since this is a 4-axis lottery, so we can change the, this options, 0.2 to a lottery, and OK. And OK, let's calculate. Ah, OK, so I create a new, new one. Let's hide this. Right, so the new new one is look, looking better. Right, this now looks better, smooth. So let's do this. I think I like that this is too close to the part. So in that case, I can always uh, go to my uh, depth card. I can always add a one more pass, finish pass. The last one, <laughs> let me point three. Then the two will be higher by 0.3 right and this is how the two top will cut Right. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you if you want this file, please read the comments. Uh, read the comments where to download this file.